Recently, there's been a series of robberies around the country uh, that has gotten a lot of my attention. It's something that kind of perked my ears up when I started to hear about it, especially when you see video on it. Um, and that's really a lot of looters robbing trains as they sit um, really in high crime areas. Because what you have is as trains pass through places like Chicago, what it'll happen is it sometimes takes a day or two to pass through, which leaves them just sitting there in high crime areas. And as a result, what's happening is looters are looting these trains. So there's helicopter footage that I'll try to B-roll in here as best I can, but there's helicopter footage of people just looting trains, pulling up vehicles, just so many cars pulling up and dozens and dozens of people going through the fence, getting one of those cargo trains open um, and just looting it. And as a result, um, what we're seeing is this is happening all around the country, oftentimes with cops watching because there's nothing they can do about it. It's just too many people until their backup shows up. Now, the reason I'm even talking about this on this channel is for two reasons. Number one, um, I believe that this country is heading in a direction where looters are going unpunished, uh, regardless of whether they're looting a pharmacy or a train or whatever case may be. There needs to be stricter punishment on this, and it always really bothers the heck out of me when I see it happen or hear about it happening. But the second reason is because many of these train robberies, what's being stolen is guns, a lot of guns. Thousands of guns have been looted from trains in the past 10 years. For example, recently a train going from New Hampshire to Spokane, Washington was carrying a lot of Ruger guns. Uh, one particular cargo, uh, train was opened up and 111 Ruger firearms were stolen out of that particular train in South Chicago. Now, in addition to that, just a week earlier in a similar place, a little bit further north in Chicago, 33 guns were stolen from a train. And if you start to look at the pattern of the number of guns that are stolen from trains, it's in the thousands at this point over the last 10 years. Not to mention ammo, a lot of ammo being stolen from these trains. Um, and really what it comes down to is ignorance. It's ignorance. It's, there's two problems here. If you're shipping guns through a high crime area and you know that train is going to sit there for a day or two, number one, the local authorities should know about that. Um, I recently bought a shed and they had to let the local authorities know that it was going to be passing down their highway. So why is it that, that guns and ammo is not, you know, hey, by the way, there's guns and ammo in this train authorities. Now, of course, the trains aren't marked guns and ammo or anything like that. Oftentimes, really what it is, is they break into a train. Sometimes it's TVs. Sometimes it's fur coats. Sometimes it's guns and ammo. And that's really what it's coming down to is they're just breaking in and just getting whatever they can. And a lot of guns being shipped around this country, um, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of guns are being shipped yearly through the railroad system. And as a result, many of them are being robbed. Uh, same thing happens in Austin, Texas, quite a bit. A lot of looted train robberies taking place there. A lot of guns missing from Austin, Texas because of that. A uh, lot of trains being robbed in Kansas, Kansas. A uh, lot of guns missing because of that. Um, there just should be some sort of, uh, you know, hey, authorities, there's a train sitting in a terrible neighborhood overnight and it's loaded with guns. Maybe we should keep an eye on it. Yeah, that's, that'd be where I'd start is I'd at least keep an eye on it. Um, this is something that, you know, and I, I'm just going to add here <clears throat> that this bothers me to a degree as well, because not just are people getting away with it, but when I was a little kid, <clears throat> we lived in Portland, Oregon for a while. And when we moved, my parents put everything on a train. And about a month later, when that train arrived, all our stuff was stolen. 
Now, I was a little kid, I remember it, but it didn't blow me out of the water or anything, but it blew my parents out of the water and it blew my older brother out of the water. And to this day, uh, they, they are hoarders. And I believe a lot of it is because in one moment they lost everything in a train robbery. Um, now again, that's just a side note, but the biggest point of this is this has to stop. This is crazy. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, if I was a, if I was a, a looter, I would pick a train in the middle of a field in the middle of the night versus going into a store or something. I mean, it makes way more sense. It's safer. You're probably going to make out with a lot more stuff. You're going to have a lot more time. Um, and every now and then you get a bunch of guns. Uh, it's pretty crazy out there. The amount of guns stolen from trains in the last 10 years is over a thousand guns in the United States. The number of news reports I've heard on that, zero. I've never heard a news report on it. Uh, the only reason I know about it is because as you start to stumble across that and you do a deeper search, you're like, wow, this is uncovering quite a bit. There's a lot going on here that we just don't know about. Because locally, there might be a blurb on it, you know, uh, like I'm sure in Chicago, it's brought up every now and then, kind of like the footage of uh, the helicopter from the people looting. But, you know, your average U.S. citizen is hearing nothing about this. And that's really kind of the big point of this video is at least a thousand guns and unmentioned amount of ammo stolen uh, from looters, modern day train robbers, uh, looting trains in terrible neighborhoods at night as they just sit vulnerable. And, and nobody's at this point doing anything to stop it. So I imagine it's gonna keep on rolling that way. Um, any thoughts or insight on any of this, definitely put it below. Uh, do want to take a moment and say most who watch the channel, hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.